Uh, this is Mr. Petito, and today we're going to talk to you about how to access your history ebook. So, in the cell service, there is an app called HMH Player. It's garbage, don't use it. <laughs> so, uh, instead, this is going to be the route that we should take. So, the first thing you need to do is do a Google search for HMH Co. HMH Co. This is the company that, of your textbook. And you see there um, where you see HMH login. So I can tap on HMH login. And it should bring you right to Ed, your friend in learning. All right. From here, we're going to search for our school. So we'll do independent school. And we'll do Georgia. And we'll start typing the word Woodward. And Woodward Academy should pop up in the list here. We don't want the lower score in the north. We'll just pick that. Um, that second option there where it says Woodward Academy, then hit next. And so if you already purchased the book, we've already set up your accounts. You'll be able to log in with the same information as your Google login, which is your email and then your ID number WAMS password. Now, if your login doesn't work, there's a few reasons why that could be. Uh, the first thing could be is you never purchased the book, so your account was never set up. Two, maybe you purchased the book after we already set up your accounts, in which case we need to do a resync of rosters. Just let me know and I can do that for you. Or third, you're typing in your password incorrectly. So it just should be one of those three options why you should not be able to access the ebook. But once you're in, you should see a page that looks like this. Then all we have to do is go to Discover. And from here, you'll be able to see your ebook. Scroll down and select Student Ebook. And here are all the different modules that you'll be able to access. Select open and your ebook should open up in a new tab. If it doesn't, like you see here, then we have to unblock pop-ups. To do that, hit the home button, go to your settings. On the left hand side, scroll down to Safari. And about halfway down, you should see an option that says block pop-ups and we wanna turn that off. Now if I go back to Safari and I hit that open button, it should open up now in a new tab, and we should see that module ready to go for us here. All right, last step is we want to create a shortcut to this page. So back over here in our Discover page, which has the uh, student ebook here, we can hit the Share button at the top right-hand side here and scroll down until you get to Add to Home Screen. So I'm going to add this to the home screen. We can change this name to whoever we want. It starts off with just uh, HMH Ed Discover, but we can change this if we want to history ebook, just a little bit clearer. We can hit add, and now we have a shortcut on our iPads to the history ebook. The next time you want to open up your ebook, simply select it, sign back in, and away you go. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at robert.petito at woodward.edu. And as always, thanks for watching.